Hey there, Papa's Posse. Don't forget about that QR code. Take it to my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram page. Well, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Once again, it's time for Papa's Comic Books, Coffee, and more. Okay, today's reading is Spider Woman number two, a dollar seventy-five from back in nineteen ninety-three in her first limited series in this ish for issue, the untold mysteries of the Spider Woman origin. It's by Dan Thomas and John Zop. Now, also, please uh, don't forget to hit that eBay. Book is available on eBay at papas-comic-books. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it, okay? Title of this story, You Can't Go Home Again. Spider-Woman. Let's face it. I'm lost. This is definitely not Newport Beach. Really lost. Oh, jeez. Now what? Oh, this is strong, clingy, sticky, too strong to break. Is this irony or what? Spiders? Lots of spiders, all kinds, all sizes. I'm afraid of spiders. They're slimy, they're ugly, and some of them are poison. Poison? My mommy, Senor Carpenter, Senora Carpenter, Julia. Oh, my poor daughter. You can't go home again, especially if you weren't really there the first time. <laughs> oh, God, the poison. Easy, dear. You're hurt. You don't want to ex exert yourself. You were only having a nightmare about spiders. Like when you were a little girl. No, it was real. Real. Oh, uh, Walter. You've killed him, Julia. You've killed your father. For Dios, no. He, he can't be. I didn't. He's alive. Thank God. You just flung him like he was a rag doll. Please, Liz. She didn't mean it. But she's so strong. And the way she lifted Dr. Napier's body before. What happened to you, Julia? What have you become? You didn't tell them, Rachel Consuela. We didn't think we should, senora. We told them that was your exercise suit. And we chose to believe you. Walter, we've been made fools of here. Now, Liz, I'm sure Julia had a good reason for anything she's hidden from us, or at least one she's thought was good. But now, will you tell us what's going on? Did you know that Dr. Napier was going to come here? Or were you holding out on us about that too? You're the ones he phoned to say he'd meet her here, remember? But that reminds me, where's the body? I didn't just dream his death too, did I? And my fight with Theric of the death web bunch. We put the body in there. It's still swollen from the poison. The police should be here any second. Is that case? I better change into my spare spider woman outfit. I told you I recognize those leotards. Our little girl and Avenger, Rachel and Consuela will fill you in hope you understand I've got to leave. Of course, dear, it's business. So this is that mysterious job that pays so well? Not that well, but it pays the mortgage. Wanna tell them I was surprised now, Rachel? Mom and I got our shorts, got our shots so we could go back to Peru with you. Why, that's wonderful, honey. Only now, can you just take Rachel? It isn't safe around here. We'll leave at once, Julia. She'll be all right, Mr. and Mrs. Cornwall. She's doing, she's been doing this a while. I know, but what was that about a someone called Death Web? All four of them are resourceful. They'll find a way to leave Spider-Woman out of it when, she, when the cops show up. Pelos Verdes Peninsula. 
Jim Rhodes is on duty, but I don't want the Avengers West knowing what's up yet. All I want right now is a Quinjet, because I've got questions that can only be answered inside the Beltway. Translation, Washington, D.C. is the pre-dawn hours. First, a late night visit from Dr. Napier, whom I know only from the Commission of Superhuman Activities, the top secret government task force that gave me my spider powers, only he's dying of the same neurotoxins deployed by Death Web. Maybe I should have stuck around Newport Beach long enough to find out how mom and dad knew Napier, but I was kind of preoccupied. Having that two-legged tarantula, Therick, show up on my doorstep, then him letting it slip through the death web trio got their powers, or at least their immunity, to neurotoxins from the same serum I did. Hey, that might even explain why the female death webber is named Arashin. The name I originally suggested to Napier and Val Cooper as my code name instead of Spider Woman. I'm beginning to suspect my old college chum Val has been holding out on me since day one. And governmental agencies like they are, somehow, I didn't think the best way to find out to send her a questionnaire. Luckily, I got to know Commission HQ well enough during my brief sojourn here that I shouldn't have much trouble finding the files. I was right. When Val called me that day from the airport, she said it was just an impulse during a layover, but this reported her handwriting reveals she came to Denver specifically to look me up. I was set up. You should feel flattered, Julia. That was commission considered you worth the trouble. You. Hmm. Sorry, Val. Did I make so much noise I woke you up? Don't speak so flippantly of highly paid government personnel, old buddy. You think you're so good you didn't trip an alarm. Second question, are you going to surrender quietly? I really hate winning sucker bets. If anybody bet you an Avenger, throw in the towel. They deserve to lose their money. Get her! Out of my way, Cooper. You do that, girl, if you think I won't run over you. And you won't learn all the stuff you really want. To know about your oh-so-secret origin? You've got a point. And since your goon squad won't be doing anything vertical for an hour or so, spill it and make it good. You're hardly in a position to demand answers, Julia, whatever you might think, but you may as well get them anyway, and somehow I don't think you're going to like them. You know the commission reports directly to the president, and he was formed to, and he was formed to secretly supervise America's superhuman resources. Read, read to spy on uh, to spy on and otherwise deal with anybody with special powers. Am I telling you this, or are you? As it's acting ahead, I assembled a top scientific team to try to create a new breed of superheroes. The intentionally famous Dr. Carter Napier, the so Sylvie Akiaborn of Paquin Dian in Indian in Peru, and from Japan, a brilliant young grad student, Hashinoto. You won't have at our disposal all our resources we like, but we'll get more if we get results. Our goal is so-called superheroes responsive to government control, not a bunch of vigilantes. The Fantastic Four aren't vigilantes. They're worse. They're freelancers. And both branches of the Avengers, despite quasi-official status, have an independent streak. I'm not sure about this. Well, think about it, Napier. Don't let your six-figure salary influence you. Director Cooper, there are rare drugs which might prove promising for you, for your purpose. Drugs made from plants found only in the Amazon jungle. I'm told, am honored, I too am honored to be a part of this. So what is your first step? That's partly why you're here, Dr. Yaka. They soon found out. 
Yakwa and Noro were promptly dispatched to the Peruvian Amazon to collect certain plants and spider venoms. They did their work well, but then they had an exemplary guide, Walter and Elizabeth Cornwall, who had recently taken over a rundown survival style resort in a tributary of the Amazon. What? My parents? The doctors recommended them highly, by the way. Anyway, not long afterward, you're that close to Dr. Napier. We should soon be able to give a normal person abilities not unlike spiders, but we need the test subject whose loyalty can be absolutely reassured. Actually, I have someone in mind, Dr. Yaka. As you learned, it just happens I knew the Cornwall's daughter in college before she dropped out to get married. She was smart, fairly athletic, and discreet. Now she's divorced with a kid, and the Cornwalls are worried about her making ends meet. In other words, perfect. Next stop, Denver. Hello, Julia, Carpenter, Nee Cornwall. Val Cooper, remember me? Yeah, I'm working for the government now. I'm at the airport. I know this is crazy, but I was just flipping through my phone book to see who I knew in Denver, and there you are. Any chance of you coming out so we can have a lunch and talk about old times? Sure, I've got a couple of hours layover. I'd have had a, I've had a, I have had a week if I needed it. My, my approach sure as blazes beat going through the, those channels. My superiors wanted results and they didn't much care how I got them. You never noticed how I maneuvered you into check carrying the heaviest of my bags. I always transfer my own luggage. Still in good shape, I see. I huff work out. Huff. Yeah, it's rough bringing up Rachel on what Larry doles out to me. Trickle down child support, I call it. But you didn't call me up to talk about my problems. The truth is, you know, Julia, there just might be a job for you in my department if you could come to Washington for a little while. Think your ex-hubby is ecstatic about bringing Rachel East? Larry, I'd give, it'd give him more weekends for girls in golf. What I'd be doing? Sorry, can't tell you till you clear it, you understand? Uh, sure. I am willing to bet you'll like the salary, not to mention the fringe benefits. Hook, line, and sinker. You cleared security, surprise, surprise. Dr. Napier, meet Julia Carpenter. She'll be helping with your research on the benefits of physical exercise. By now, Napier had developed misgivings about the project. But Yaka and Noto were, were definitely on board. I never worked with scientists before. You'll be fine. Us? Val, Dr. Cooper, tell me the five of, tell me the five of us are the only people even allowed on this floor. Us and Theo there maintenance man. So sorry, didn't see. It's okay. I think you'll agree, Julia, that our three geniuses were very considerate. As they put you through your paces, all in the su supposed name of science. When they were only testing you to make certain you'd be the right receptacle for the spider serum, they were in the final stages of testing. Napier, I discovered, was among more than doing more than that. You're backpedaling. I want to know. I'm still not certain that serum won't have severe side effects. You let me worry about that. It's my responsibility, not yours. If you scare her, if she bolts, it would be, it would put us behind schedule. We're moving on to phase two at once. I wasn't in the mood to mess around anymore. You sent for me? Dr. Napier has some new procedures he needs to try, Julia. A needle, doctor? I hate taking shao. It's necessary to help us study your reactions to certain kinds of exercise, I'm afraid. I think you know we would, wouldn't give you anything that would hurt you. People trusted Napier. He had made a great embezzler, so he gave you a series of shots over the next few days. Later, we told you only injection had come kind of spider extract in it. In the truth is all of them, and did, and we were increasingly dosage daily. But I could still tell that our chief scientist was sandbagging. Let me spell it out for you. 
Napier got you cushy government job in, on the line here. Do you want to lose your top secret clearance over a piddling matter of principle? Evidently, he didn't. The next shot he gave you was a calculated risk, a double dosage, just shot of the amount you knew would kill you. In fact, for a second there, ooh, we thought it had. You were out for hours. What happened? I feel awful. There was an accident. We gave you the wrong injection. That one had the venom of a poisonous spider in it. It was my fault, Julia. No, as project head, I accept full responsibility. We were stalling till we saw some results. They weren't long coming, were they? You stuck me full of spider venom? You could have killed me. I want out of this madness now. Oh, did I do that? She smashed it. We pretended shock, of course, but in fact, we've seen exactly what we wanted to see. You've required some sort of special powers. While you might be almost as strong as someone like Spider-Man, you really think so? I've got to hand it to you, Julia. You always could roll with the punches. Julia, will, just, will you just try something for me, please? I bought this new car today, a Daytona Spider, actually. Would you mind lifting, trying to lift it over your head? Surely you're kidding. Humor me. Well, let's see. Where do you take hold of a car when you're going to do a clean jerk? I guess I grab it right about here. Oh, here. I never asked Julia, did you? Appreciate little visual pun. I certainly hope so. Whoops. Since the repairs cost the feds a bundle. By now, your anger has been replaced by confusion. Would you mind or leaping as high as you can? All right. But I warn you, I was never much of a jumper. Okay, so I've improved. Now... Will you tell me how to get down? I'm stuck to the ceiling here. No more than a spider sticks to a wall. If you concentrate, you can move your limbs one at a time and crawl back down. Why, I can. How did you know? It was just a guess of Hashi's part. That lucky accident seems to have given you both the proportionate strength of a spider and the ability to walk on walls. Terrific. Next thing you know, I'll start spinning webs. Why don't you give it a shot? You're kidding, right? Hey, I know where a spider shoots it and where the webs, and if you don't think I'm going to, if you require an ability, I'm sure it will be mental. Go on, Julia. Give it that old college try. Just think web and see what happens. This is nuts, Val, but as long as I'm still on the payroll... It's not working. Nothing's coming. Try harder, Julia. I am trying. Blast you. It's not just it. Holy Moses. Web sharps. Web shapes coming right from my head. Get me out of this stuff. Ha ha. You've done it, Julia. You've caught Theo the handyman in a physically induced webbing. I don't think he thinks it's quite so amusing as you, Dr. Napier. Uh, neither do I. Next day when you showed up for work. Here, Julia, slip into this. What? Just try it on. You must have still been out here, still think we'd come up overnight. With that hunk of spandex, we've decided your code name will be Spider Woman. It did belong to someone else, but she's history. Do I have to be called that? I mean, I've always liked mythology and well. And maybe Arachne. You know, after the weaver of goddess into, turned into a spider. Or even Aradine, who gave the thesis the thread that led him into the labyrinth. Very erotic, but we want something the media can spell. Spider Woman, it is. You're the boss. Yes, there is that. Hey, at least you got a hefty pay raise out of the deal. And the dust had barely settled before you and every other spider type on Earth got caught up in the so-called secret wars. You can close your mouth now, Julia. You really think you weren't going to find out about that little free-for-all? I know you didn't care much for the freedom force. We stuck you into most of them being criminals. We'd sprung from jail. But it was the only spider group we had, so sue us. I think things started going sour when your ex-husband won custody of the daughter. 
you forgot you were working for us and started acting like just another freelance hero. That's when you betrayed us by freeing the Avengers from the vault. Typical of your people. Typical of you people. You put crooks on the payroll and you lock up heroes. But you didn't really give me much choice about quitting you. Not when you put Mike Clemson in as my control. Maybe you didn't know it, but he's, gonna, he's got some secret vendetta against me. Did you know he was even mixed up with that shadow government bunch called Conclave? We found out, and that washed him out of the commission. Okay, so most of what I thought I knew about my origin was a lie. But, we didn't, but why didn't Napier show up in Newport Beach tonight? Did you know he contracted my folks? And that Deathweb murdered him? Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. Deathweb? Are you serious? In that case, maybe I'd better tell you a bit more than I intended to. You mean there's more? You bet your buns... After you defected, the hero creating part of our project was put on hold. I was away from Deathweb's boss. The manipulator bribed his assistants into trying a new variant of the spider serum on our, on our not overly bright handyman. The extra money sounded good to Theo. He must have had doubts seconds later when he grew two extra sets of arms and the hard way. Like there's an easy way? He was huge. He was powerful. He was theric. And best of all, he could be manipulated. Clearly, the serum doesn't produce consistent results, but they're always spider-related. The manipulator wanted a couple of more guinea pigs. And Napier's two lackeys could resist anything but temptation and a cash bonus. Dr. Yaka's power kicked in first, Physical, webbing from glands atop the back of her hands. But Noto soon sensed his limited ability to teleport and enabling him to pop up as in from nowhere like a trapdoor spider. It cost him considerable pain, but there was a suit of armor casing I could give to him, absorb the hurt. The shooters I gave Yaka also minimized the sting she felt when she used her web glands. The manipulator walked off the Noto and Yaki and Antara and Apache, leaving Napier rich with promise of more to come if he kept his mouth shut and a promise of death if he talked. <gasps> the zombies ate my neighbors. I figured out what happened after I saw TV footage of Death Web and I made Napier come clean. I blackmailed him into continuing working here, hoping one day he'd lead us to the manipulator. Was it you who busted the tree, the three death web, out of prison? Hardly. I suspect manipulator did that for his own purpose. We want death web as much as you do before the commission somehow gets dragged into the public light spotlight. Will you help us track down, track them down and stop them? You think I'd go after them for you? After they killed Napier, after they endangered my parents, my daughter, I'm going after them, all right, but I'm reporting back to nobody. Look, we're on the same side here, so I'll tell you something for nothing. Death Web serves the manipulator because they're dead meat unless they get a certain antidote at irregular intervals. He had Napier spike the serum. That way, before he gave it to them, Napier probably felt guilty enough to want to warn your folks. That death web plans to force them to guide them back to the place they found the relevant herbs. You mean by shipping Rachel off with my parents, I've placed them all in danger? I've got to get to Peru. No, Julia. What do you mean, no? You gave me the extra info only to jar you into blabbing where you stashed your folks so we could be sure death web wouldn't find them. In the Cornwalls or Peru, we've got to stop them from helping Deathweb, even if he has to throw them into the cell somewhere. Get her! Press the hidden button somewhere. Oh, oh no! Well, when these guys wake up alongside the other pile over there, they're going to wish it had stayed hidden. 
If you'd leveled with me earlier, Val, maybe the people I love wouldn't be in peril. You'd better pray I find them all alive and well, or I'll be back to tear this place apart. And you. Dun, 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 dun. That was Spider Woman. Number two, $1.75 back in 1993. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Now, don't forget this book and others are available on my eBay page, papas-comic-books. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it, okay? And as Papa and Spider Woman always say, That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out.